I've done some videos on this before, but I want to show you a super simple way of checking your heat exchanger on your gas furnace to verify whether or not it has a crack. Now, HVAC contractors will use this to scam so many people saying that you have a crack in your heat exchanger, that it's super dangerous and that you're gonna die if you run it. And they'll actually turn off the gas to your furnace, leaving you in the cold with this ultimatum. So I wanna show you a really easy way to use this manometer right here to check it. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a gas furnace that we replaced. Um, the customer just wanted a replacement. There was nothing wrong with it. No cracks in the heat exchangers. So we're going to verify that with our manometer that we're gonna show you in a minute. But basically how this works is the gas valve will send gas into these burners. You will have flames inside of here. And then this here is the heat exchanger. And what happens is those flames run through this and the exhaust fumes get sucked out of here. This gets nice and hot. And then when the blower comes on, it blows that air across the heat exchanger. And that's actually what delivers heat into your home. Now, this device right here is called the inducer motor, and its objective is to pull all of that exhaust fumes out of the heat exchanger. So basically, these tubes here and this are attached. So when the flames turn on, they go through the heat exchanger and then they get sucked out by means of this motor here. It sucks that out and goes out of the exterior of the home. Now, if you have a crack in your heat exchanger somewhere, a lot of times these little uh, rivets down here will crack. And what will happen is when that air is being blown across it, the air that's coming across here is much higher pressure than the air that's getting sucked out of here. So what actually happens is when that air comes through, it blows fresh air into the heat exchanger and it goes out of the exhaust flue. Whereas a lot of times contractors will say, well, this is dangerous because carbon monoxide is getting into the home air, when in reality, it's vice versa. The home air is actually getting into this, and that's how you can measure to see if you have a crack in the heat exchanger. Now, the way that we can do that is this tube right here. So every furnace is going to have a little pressure switch right here, and it's going to have a tube that goes into this collector box. So that's the means by which we're going to check for a crack in this heat exchanger. Now I wanna add something here. If you do have a small crack in the heat exchanger and air is getting into the exhaust flue, this method that we're about to show you will pick up on that. But a lot of times it's not a unsafe condition currently. Now, if you do get a reading with this test we're about to show you, I just wanna emphasize that it has the potential to be really dangerous and getting carbon monoxide into your home. Now with that, I wanna add that you definitely need to have carbon monoxide detectors in every sleeping quarter within 10 feet of where you're sleeping. Make sure the batteries are good in those and that's an extra layer of precaution that'll help you sleep at night, not having to worry about getting carbon monoxide poisoning. And the only function that we need to operate is the fan. So we have this temporarily wired up here. Now, if you wanna check this on your furnace in your home that's already connected and everything, all you have to do is turn the fan on and you wanna make sure that nothing else is turning on. None of the burners, the inducer, you don't want this on. So if you have to unplug it, you can just, all you want on is the fan. Okay, so if this was in your home, um, you could just turn on the blower at the thermostat or alternatively, we can simply connect the R wire and the G wire with a pair of jumper or just a little wire there. And then once we put this door back on, it's going to close the switch and the blower should come on. Okay, so this is a field piece manometer and what it does is it measures either pressure or vacuum. Um, and this is measured in inches of water column. And so we're gonna go ahead and zero this out. And they sell a really cheap one of these on Amazon for about 30 bucks. I'll leave a link in the video description. Being as I'm an HVAC contractor, I have a, a higher brand one, but they both work exactly the same. So we're gonna take our hose from our manometer and we're just gonna slide it over that little nipple there. And there we go, we have that connected. And now what we're gonna do, since we have our manometer on, is we're going to turn on the blower. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. And there we go. The big boy, a lot of airflow. Woo. Okay, so what we're checking for here is we're seeing if there's any air from the blower that's getting into the heat exchanger. So right now there is zero movement. That means that there's no cracks in this heat exchanger. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to simulate a crack in the heat exchanger and we're gonna show you what this manometer reads when we duplicate a crack. All right, so we have this tiny little drill bit. We're going to duplicate a tiny little baby hole in the heat exchanger. Go right here. There we go. We have a little baby hole, and we're gonna see if that picks up on our manometer. So we're gonna plug this in after creating that hole. Fan just kicked on, and as you can see, we're reading. 0.09 on the manometer 0 0.10 so that means that air is getting into the heat exchanger this should not be reading anything and so if we're seeing numbers here that means there's air getting inside of this assembly so just so you can see what's going on here if I completely unplug this our manometer drops to zero and as soon as we plug this back on to this nipple, we see that reading again. That means that there is now a crack in the heat exchanger and that's how we can verify. Now, in addition to using the manometer, I did a separate video on this, but I wanna show it to you as well. You can check your heat exchanger if you think it has a crack with a lighter or a long match stick. Now let me show you how easy that is. So we're gonna light this and we're gonna hold it as far down into the heat exchanger as possible. You can see how uh, that flame is not dancing at all. It's going straight up. Now if we go over here to this end one, as you can see that flame is dancing around. That is not straight up at all. So this is another way that you can verify that you have a crack in the heat exchanger. So it's as easy as that folks to check your heat exchanger with a manometer or a lighter. You can use both of these as tools to determine if you have a crack. Now if your flame is dancing or if you get a reading on your manometer on that port right there, that's a good indicator that you need a new heat exchanger or if you have an older furnace, you might think about replacing the whole furnace. Now I will do a video in the future on how to replace a heat exchanger if you want to go that route. It is a little bit of labor, but if you're doing this yourself, you can definitely save a lot of money. Now, if you're interested in tackling your own maintenance, just to make sure that everything else looks good on your furnace, check out this video right here. And you can also save a ton of money by tackling that maintenance yourself. I typically charge a hundred bucks for that service. Some companies charge more, so there's a lot of savings that can be found there. Hope you enjoy that one and until next time you guys be safe. Later.